everybody, it's Jess here from Meadows Flowers and what I want to talk to you about today is this great new um, packaging that I found from the guys at Floral Box. So for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Jess, this is Meadows Flowers and I am a flower farmer and studio florist based here in Mid Staffordshire in the UK. So I am between Stoke-on-Trent in the north, Stafford in the south, Utoxeter and Cheadle in the east and Stone in the west. So I've been using sort of living vases for quite a while for my floristry along with that traditional cello wrap, whether that's bio cello or the traditional cello. And I don't know about you, but I find it a bit of a pain to use. It's really difficult to get it neat it's very difficult to make sure you've got all your stems in clothes and then fill it with a jug so i thought i would give um for mother's day i thought i'd give the floral box packaging a go i've heard great stuff about it i just wanted to talk you through a little bit the features of the product today and why i find it absolutely brilliant so it comes in lots of different sizes and styles but the sizes that i've got are the mini box and the maxi box and these maxi boxes are massive. I did my really big um, Mother's Day bouquets in these and they went down in absolute storm. Um, come in lots of different colourways, so the natural craft box through to different colours, even a mixed colour pack. And because my branding is sort of grey with pink and teal, I've gone for the grey and I found these brilliant. So they are fully re made of recycled materials and they're fully recyclable. The only little bit of plastic you'll end up with is an elastic band because this plastic here is also fully recyclable so they come as a box and if you can see this they're flat packs and they come with assembly instructions on them so all we do this is the bottom of the box is we open our box we put flap number one that's the first on it down we then bring over second flap and the third flap and then just bring the fourth one down and tuck it in. So tuck it in like that. We've then got a box. This is the only fiddly bit with it and I've got used to this now. The first time I was like, oh my god, what have I got to do? Little tabs that say fold here and you just work your way around and the secret to these is giving them a really good fold in. So this is the only faffy bit but the good point part with this is you can get this pre-prepped well in advance. If you've got 10 bouquets to do, you can just be getting these made well in advance. I've got my husband doing these for Mother's Day. He found them really, really easy. He was really positive about the product. And once we've got our tabs folded in, we literally squeeze the neck to bring it together. And you will find you'll get the old tab that's popped out. So you just work your way around. The more you do these, the better you get at it. Trust me, the first few I did were an absolute nightmare. And we squeeze it around till we get to our box shape. Top tip now. Now is the time to put our elastic retainer on. Don't wait till it's full of water and full of flowers and then try and rest an elastic band on. Because it's not going to happen. So it comes with a pack of elastic bands. So this is the only single use plastic we're going to go, but we can reuse these God knows how many times and put it on the bottom of the box. So we just pop it on for now, just holds it in place. And that's the box built. So with traditional boxes, I found it's then now we've got to now sell it, wrap it and then fill it with water and do all of this and all of that. With floral box, we get a plastic liner. They encourage you to use two liners per box, and I, I would do, I would just take the hit, and we literally take our liner, stick it in our box, and then take second liner, pop the second liner inside the first liner. And now we have a bag in a box. So now you can fill your box with water. You, again, you can prep all these well in advance, you can get all this done, and then you can just make your bouquets. So you want to fill it, from experience to about just below the base of the neck here. Then when you're ready, pop your stems in and we just squeeze the tabs in again and we close our box up. The liner fits beautifully inside the box. When it's full of water, you don't see this at all. Then click your elastic band up and we're done. 
and then tie it off with a pretty piece of ribbon and we've got a really simple living vase that's really sturdy nice and square and really easy to use big boy this big boy is a little bit more tricky to to make up because it is certainly a bit bigger but if i just give you a little bit of an idea we do first second third fourth fifth and then the sixth one again comes round and in same as before and we have a really big hexagonal see i not put it in i'm just showing you really big hexagonal box here and these make really beautiful big bouquets and again they come with the liners so i have been so impressed with these i really have they are they're a little bit more money than your traditional living vase and cellar but for ease of use for speed of creating bouquets and for the look actually the look of these when they're done is beautiful a floral box I think you're a fabulous company. Well done. From me here, Jess at Meadows Flowers in Staffordshire. As always, if you like my videos, click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, but take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.